This year, more than ever, we need to celebrate the feast of Christmas. God with us, Emmanuel. Our God gave us a message of hope to us and to our world. He came that we might have life and have it to the full. Christ is our hope. We've many reminders that this year's Christmas is going to be different. We are marking it in a new and changed world, a changed society, a fragile community, and in homes that are different. Since the pandemic began, people have been making extraordinary sacrifices to support the community and support and help one another. Many people have had to change their lives and go back to the drawing board. Some people's lives have been irreversibly changed through the loss of a loved one and the circumstances of that death and the funeral. We have found ourselves reflecting more and more and refocusing on our priorities. We are more aware of our vulnerability. These months have challenged us to focus on what's really important. As we continue to live through this pandemic, how can we live this Christmas 2020? I'd like to suggest three foundation stones which we could focus on this Christmas and that might help us as we go forward with hope into 2021. These stepping stones are family, friends and faith. And in this short video, I'd like to focus on family. The part that family plays in our lives has been reawakened. The pandemic has pulled some families apart through the restrictions on travel and visiting. Physical contact between children and their grandparents has been missed and other families have spent more time together than they ever have before. Our sense of who we belong to is deep within us and never goes away. At Christmas time, it takes on a special meaning because when everything else stops, family doesn't. Family, especially at Christmas, and this Christmas in particular, is about real family, not what we'd like our family to be. We look at Mary and Joseph as they set out on their journey with fear and uncertainty. And yet it was to this itinerant tradesman and his young, frightened fiance that God chose and saw the possibility of a loving family for his son. The only change they had to make was to open themselves to God and to trust. So it is with us, each of us in our families, with all their ups and downs. Can we also be a place where Christ can be present in this Christmas 2020? By focusing on family, faith and friends, in these weeks of preparation, we look forward to what we can do rather than what we can't do. We can really make Christmas 2020 count, as well as opening the door to a hope-filled 2021. The pandemic has taken many things away from us, but it can take away our hope. Christ is our hope and Christ is always with us. I would like to thank all those in our diocesan community, our priests, religious and people of the diocese who have lived these moments of pandemic with faith, commitment and a deep care for other people. I thank especially our healthcare personnel and others who work in essential roles for your generous and heroic service to the community. My prayer for each of you this Christmas is one of hope and solidarity, that we might meet Christ in each other and reach out to others with his love, his compassion, his joy and his peace. May you have a blessed Christmas this year. Banathina Nolog.